Okay, today we're unboxing the Mini GT Car Hauler Trailer Type A in silver. Looks like it's going to be a great little model for putting Hot Wheels and 164 diecast cars and so what on the trailer. Flip it over here, it says age is 14 and plus. It's a collector's model, not suitable for children under 14. Flip it over, we got the nice packaging there looks like there's a truck that they actually might sell that would connect to this trailer let's get this box open but we do not and looks like we need to pull it out this way so that it probably does not drop out when we pull it out oh here we go okay so far so good looks like we got the top of the trailer there Top half of the plastic bubble off, bubble shell. And we've got the trailer in the packaging. Looks pretty good, I like it, I like it. And there it comes out of the, out of the packaging. And we'll sit her right there for the moment. Wow, looks pretty good. Looks half decent. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I, I like it. It's really good. Okay. Got the roll up, got the ramps on the back. Okay, one of them came out, no problem. And the other one does not seem to want to come out. Okay, may take a little. Okay, that one's a little stiff coming out. Now that feels plasticky to me, okay? It's probably plastic. So when you're handling it, you're gonna have to be very, very careful. All right, let's take it and roll it on over all the way. Okay, the underside, let me tap it with my knife. Okay, that's, it's all plastic. That's not metallic. Now, first thing I'm noticing is how wide the tires are. They're very narrow, which, you know, generally, Trailer tires are narrow in the first place, but I, I'm so accustomed to seeing die cast models of cars that I'm, I'm accustomed to seeing wide tires. So the tires are perfectly fine. The holder for the spare tires, okay, that's giving a little bit. I believe that's plastic as well. So most of this model, best I can tell, is going to be plastic. And let's put these back in here. Or I break one of them off. Now let's look at the trailer hitch and the jack on the hitch. Bring it up here a little closer. And does it? Yes, it does go around, so it's not locked into place. Okay. I'm gonna be careful with this. I'm 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 actually a left-handed person, so. Okay, so when I spin that does not spin the upper, so is that screwed on in some way? Whoop, I just screwed it off. Okay, I just I just accidentally screwed it off. Let me see if I can get that back on. Not blaming that on the manufacturer, just blaming it on little old me. Okay, okay. So that is not actually glued on. It is not attached in any way. There's no threads there. Well, it kind of feels a little threaded, but it does come off very easily. So be aware. Okay, now the jack, I'm having trouble twisting it. It does twist. The jack, though, that feels like a piece of wire. It looks like a piece of wire. It has the sheen of a piece of wire Probably about a 20 gauge, I would estimate, 20 gauge wire. Okay, so it does appear to screw, but mine does not go down very far. And it is mine is very hard to turn. So I wouldn't count on this being an easy operation because it's definitely not easy for me. So, so far we've established, we've got mostly plastic, mostly plastic. The wheels are narrow, just like a trailer should be. And about the only thing I can find metal is the, the jack on the trailer hitch. 
Let's look at the axles. Okay, can't look at the axles because they're covered. Hmm. All right. What else does this trailer have? Well, it has some wheel stops there, which are nice for centering the car. And I would assume that since there's no other holes on the trailer, actual real live holes on the trailer, uh, um, on this particular trailer, a, a full size trailer would have holes there so you can move those wheel, wheel stops up and down the trailer. But this one just has them right there for centering of a car purpose. Let's get a Whop Wheels and put it up there and see how big this trailer is compared to a medium sized Hot Wheel. Eh, not bad, not bad. Let's zoom in a little bit for you. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, just about right, I would say. Now, if you put the car at the wheel stops, is the car centered properly on the trailer for trailering? Probably not. Uh, I would guess that the weight distribution is a little bit behind the axles at the moment. And unless you had some spare parts or something in front of the car that weighted the front of the trailer down, eh, your, your weight distribution might be a little off. So I'm not so sure that this trailer's wheel stops are in the right spot, but that's okay. I'm gonna put my little car where I want it. And that would be around right there. Let's get a different car. Still 164th. See what it looks like up there. Get the little Mustang. The little Mustang looks pretty good as well. And I'll I'll throw you in some some photographs of all this interspersed throughout the video. Yeah, the tra trailer is pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And for display purposes, it looks really good. It looks really sweet. So, it's a good buy. A very good buy. I'd buy it again if I needed a second one. I don't need one at the moment. So, if you're inclined to buy one, I think you're getting a good, good value for your money. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.